So this came in the mail today, and I'm going to assume, I'm going to record it just in case it's something cool, but I'm going to assume this is going to be a dumpster fire video. So I'm going to record it, so if it is good, I'll upload it. If it's not, I'll just delete it. But, <laughs> I, uh, so is this like a master's box? Somebody actually painted the entire box or spray painted? Is it plastic? With saran wrap. Okay. So I guess we're just going to, uh, is there anything on the bottom? Oh, they didn't paint. What, what is that? What set is this? Who knows? Okay, so. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha Investments, and, uh, oh, the saran wrap's, like, sticking to the black spray paint. That's, that's probably not intended. Goodness gracious. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a box full of nothing but, like, lighthouses and lava claws and witch fishes Rudy and a bunch of stirring wild woods and crap like that, but that's kind of what I'm assuming we're walking into. But like I said, hopefully this is something fun. Goodness gracious, I can't even open it. Alright. Hey, it's actual pet! Wait, hold on, hold on. Are they actually going to be sealed? <clears throat> Wait a minute, are these real? I think these are! Okay. Well, this is going to be a really fun video then. Holy crap, what do we got? Wow, how far back does this get? Core 15, Eldritch, 19. Good old cons of Tarky. Kaladesh, Gate Crash, the old D Maze. The old D Maze, look out for D Maze. That's what she said. M14, Theros, Born, Nyx. So, Pioneer, I guess. Every Pioneer set, is that what we're looking at here? Uh, okay. So, what was this? Oh, was there anything else in this box? No? Okay. Alright, um, wow, wouldn't it be amazing? So, I, wait a minute, hold on. So, is this pretty much like the Wizards mystery thing? Except, like, you know, are you guys surprised that Wizards is, is doing a mystery product after all the money in, like, mystery packs and everything on the internet and eBay? I'm, I mean, I'm really not surprised it took them this long to kind of say, hey, you know what? Maybe we should capitalize on that market. I'm really not surprised, honestly. Alright, so what do we got? I'm trying to see if we got... Is it every Pioneer product? So we got BFZ. Oh, so every block, right? Uh, Innistrad and Eldritch. Yep, another block. So we got core sets, right? Core set. So we got Origins, 15. There's 19. 14. Dominary. Aether, is there Kaladesh? Yep, there's Kaladesh. And RTR over there. And I guess Dominary is... Okay, how about them apples, am I right? Alright, so assuming these are all real, legitimate packs, and no one's not doing this person in the middle here, just kind of lol in me. Uh, I don't know, let's just open some stuff, I don't know. Let's start with Shadows of Renistra. Let's just see if these are, I think these are, wait, that opened kind of weird. These should be real packs, right? Uh, commons, uncommons. Yeah, actually, I think these, yeah, three uncommons, and always watching is our rare. Oh god, who remembers that card? And the old Kindly Stranger, that's a flip card, right, into the Vampire or Werewolves, yep. Okay, so I guess, alright, so let's see if we get anything crazy. So let's just kind of, uh, I guess we'll just keep all the cards together, kind of a different type of opening. I just want to see if we actually get anything exotic. That's what I'm interested in. Okay, Uncommon, um, Sam Sheet, Hamlet, Faith Unbroken, who remember? Ah, uh, the Elder Deep Fiend. You know, the old Spooky Moon, Eldritch Moon era was such an underappreciated time. I loved Eldritch Moon, man. Such a good time. Oh, Cryptolith Fragment flip card and no foil. Ah, that's a little, uh, little nostalgia there. Let's hit Dominaria. Maybe uh, Mr. T or old Karn will show up today. Let's see if we get lucky. Uh, Nature's Wild. Cab oh, Cabal Stronghold is our rare. Sorry, I forgot the order difference there. Cabal Stronghold is the rare. The old uh, Ad Swamp Aru for every basic you control, but it costs three to activate. Eh. And, of course, the pride of fem fem peru foo foo fi fi fa fa whatever that means. And a sapling. Uh, let's see, uh, can you imagine if we pull a lottery card, everybody? Holy smokes, could you imagine, out of a random pack like this, if we hit a flippin' lottery card? I'd lose it, man, it'd be insane. Here we go! Ah! Oh, <laughs> we got a Mythic Dovin! Not bad, not bad, not a lottery card, but you know what? Not bad, Mythic Dovin! Okay! Aether, come on, lottery card. <clears throat> that was actually pretty impressive. Okay, so these are definitely not repacks. They're actually real packs. 
Here we go. And the old glint. Oh, we got a foily. Glint sleeve. Siphon. Yeah, she's she's good looking. She's creepy. I wouldn't, you know, I'd take her out for dinner, but an implement of the malice. And that's it. So no lottery cards. That's a letdown. So what do you guys think? Cons? See if we can get some fetchy. Come on, fetch land, everybody. Come on, baby. Fetch land action. And dragon. Watcher. Oh, we <laughs> We hit the Bloodstained Mire! It's like one of the most expensive fetch lands! And a Rotting Rudy! R two R's! R squared! We actually- Unbelievable! One pack, we got a Mythic and Kaladesh, we actually got a fetch land in cons! Holy crap! That's incredible! Oh my god, that was awesome! Alright, Fate Reforged, and Frontier Siege, yeah, the old Siege. Not bad, not a bad little card. And the Cunning Strike for the Common, and No Hidden Fetch Land. Dragons, we're going to get some Coco action. Come on, Coco. Come on, some, maybe, or Mythic, maybe some Crazy Command card. Display of the Old Dominance, the Forerunners, the Lurker, and, oh, Deathbringer Regent. And so, an Uncommon Scale. Nah. Uh, I guess this is going to be kind of a thing, because, I mean, I guess we're going to be opening Mystery Packs next year. I mean, I guess, you know, how many missed all the variety of Pioneer sets, right? All right, here we go. We're going to Gate Crash Era. Come on, Shocklands. Here we go, everybody. Shocklands, baby. And, oh, Oozfla. Ah, terrible card. Oozflux. Blah. The most expensive, creepiest chick of all of Magic's history. Dragon's Maze, everybody. We're going in. No turning back. All right, I thought for sure these packs were not going to be legitimately sealed. I'm I'm genuinely more surprised about that than anything. Here we go, and renounce the guilds. Everybody sacks a multi permanent blah. Oh, I thought we had like a, a shock land or something. Foil guild gate and a regular oh, double guild gated. We just got double guild gate, double G'd, double guild gated. Everybody, this is actually a pretty fun video. Nice little change of pace, everyone. Here we go. All right, everybody. Here we go. Uncommon phantom, the old RTR. Key runes, guild mage, and the hypersonic junk slap my flipping face. Okay, terrible. All right, where are we going now? Should we, let's go back to lottery. Come on, see if we can get ourselves a lottery pool. I'd love to see a lottery pool at something just highly improbable like this. And Vizia of many faces, the shapeshifter cleric, and nothing. Yeah, we got the little punch card. That was blah. Come on, hour of devastating the wallet. Come on, baby. We don't screw around on this channel. We churn and burn, baby. Here we go. Come on. Come on. All right. Hope. Oasis. Riddle form. Torment. Of, yeah, I remember that was a few bucks at one point in time. Never really a home run card, but anyways. All right. Let's head over to the old Theros block. Am I right? Who would have ever imagined Theros and Nyx being expensive like they are today? Don't look at the... Oh, my. BFPD efforts of the NE. Oh, that's when I had the SD4 disease. So I apologize. Please, everybody, do not trace the Rudy pre-release pack. It will lead to the secret basement goldfish WPN. Here we go. And Reverend Hunter is our rare with no foily. All right, all right. And again, everybody, uh, at the end of the day, Justin, thank you for being a very kind, loyal patron. Thanks for the cool video. And uh, I don't remember that card. Thanks for the cool video. Very unique, fun video today. Faded Intervention, oh, five drop to pop two Centaurs on the road, yeah. Uh, but again, really appreciate it, Justin, for uh, really letting everybody enjoy a nice little variety down memory lane here of the standard world. And Dictate of Crufix, oh, hey, Furix, that was actually pretty hot common back in the day. And uh, allowing all of us to have fun and kind of uh, travel down this journey of memories. All right, this is the only lottery ones we've got left. we got Ixalan, and we got some core sets. I guess we can start with the newest core set and then go older. Ooh, my, I see M15. M14, too. My fave. All right, Rise. Hey, Relincourt Tower. Siege and the Dragon's Horde. You know, it's funny when I see this now because, again, Core 19 was just disliked so much, everybody. I, I still look back at that. It was amazing how much people truly hated Core 19 as a magic set. It was just such a just negative. It was crazy. All right, here we go. Prism Ring. Valor, Sentinel, Hanger Back, Walker, baby! Wow. Oh, baby, look at this! 
And an evolutionary leap, foil rare. Evolutionary leap when uh, Origins was in standard was a huge deal. I remember that. And a hanger back. Dude, this would have been an epic packet release. Remember, I was not, uh, I did not film and do YouTube. This was when I was doing mass box openings uh, during this time period. So I actually do not believe, um, because this was, yeah, 2015, 16 range. Yeah, I was not on YouTube. But man, that would have been an amazing pack, everybody. All right, one of my favorite core sets of all time, Core 15, the Lost Angel of a set. Very, very underappreciated, very, very tough to get product now. Here we go, Ancient Silverback and Shield of the Avatar. Anybody remember that artwork? I do. And Hunt of the Week, and that is it. Nothing spicy in that pack, and a little goblin guy hiding in the back. Great artwork, not a lot of value. That is a swing and a miss on the old core set there. So here we go. All right, now we're M14. Love it. M14 was deemed kind of more of the weaker set, but again, M12, 13, people said the same thing. We got a staff, we got a worm. Hey, young Pyro, he was a hit. And a Johnny's Chosen. Anybody remember this guy? I remember this card, the old Johnny's. And we got, oh no, I thought we had a foil back there. All right, everybody, BFZ, here we go. Are you ready? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, AW6 P PQ. Yeah, that could be a lottery card pack. I think I remember that a long time ago. <clears throat> Here we go. Uncommons. Rot Shambler. Ah, the Forerunner. That's some decent uncommons. And Tide Drifter. Decent uncommons. And Endless One. We got no lottery card. We do have a nice, beautiful full art back there. Endless One. The infamous, infamous. Put the old... It, you just gotta need to determine, everybody. Pause the video. How much head do you want? Do you want to enter in the battlefield with ten heads? Five head? You just need one head. You determine what your X is. And you all are a bunch of perverts. It's, I'm just trying to explain what the card works. Oh my god! Here we go. Oath of the Rudy Watch. Here we go. Cyclone. Eh. Terrors. Eh. Mind Melter. Eh. Hedron Alignment. I thought this was one of the coolest flavorful cards, but it's really not the greatest card, but it was a cool card. And a nice full art island. So we're hitting the last two packs here today, everybody. Again, Justin, thanks for being a very cool dude, allowing everybody to have a lot of fun today. Um, overall, uh, we had some good hits today. Fleet Captain, yeah, Human Pirate. We got, hey, a foil cancel. That's a thing. That's a thing. Uh, biggest hit of this video is probably going to be a Khan's Fetchland. And we actually had a Mythic in uh, Kaladesh, right? But I think the Khan's Fetchland is the home run of the day, though, everybody. And ending on the Induced Amnesia, everybody. And no foil. Nice little city's blessings. Is there anything in the bag? Just me. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. But yeah, that Khan's Fetch Land by far was... I mean, that, that's got to be a $50 card. What an epic pull. Other than that, everybody have a fantastic day. And as always, enjoy your weekend and take care of yourselves. And go hug your family. Go hug someone nice. Go outside and hug a tree. Nothing wrong with it.